today our lesson is chapter 8 operation of fractions page 88 to 90 you have as agenda to copy the pdf on your cb plus review page 88 90 number 2 page 88 calculate here i have 2 over 3 divided by 9 over 5 i remember that i when i have a division i'm going to multiply with the inverse of the second fraction let's see how so i write 2 over 3 as it is instead of divide i'm going to write the multiplication sign and instead of 9 over 5 i'm going to write 5 over 9 this is how i solve a division so now i multiply the numerators together and the uh, denominators together instead of 9 i can write it 3 times the 3 so I have 2 times 5 over 3 times 3 times 3. Can I simplify? No, I can't. So I multiply 2 times 5 equals 10 and 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Now, 7 over, nine, over 8 divided by 5 over 6. So I'm going to write 7 over 8 times 6 over 5. Then I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. I can write instead of 6, 3 times 2. And instead of 8, 2 times 2 times 2. So now I can see if I can simplify. Yes, I can simplify by 2. Now... I complete 7 times 3 equals 29 and 2 times 2 times 5 equals 20. Now I have 3 over 7 divided by 7 over 3. So I write 3 over 7 as it is times 3 over 7. I write the inverse of the second multiplication. Now I write 3 times 3 over 7 times 7 equals 9 over 49. Here I have 8 over 9 divided by 8 over 9. So I write 8 over 9. I write instead of divide times 9 over 8. Now I write 8 times 9 over 9 times 8. I can simplify by 8 and simplify by 9. The answer is 1. Now I have 8 over 15 divided by 4. When I have a single number, I write 4 over 1. So now I write 8 over 15 times 1 over 4. So I write 8 times 1 over 15 times 4. Now I can decompose 8 and 4 and 15. So 2 times 2 times 2 instead of 8. 15 is 3 times 5 and 2 and 4 sorry is 2 times 2. Now I can see if I can simplify. Yes, I can simplify by 2 here and 2 here, 2 here and 2 here. So I can simplify. Then I write the answer 2 over 15. Now I have 7 divided by 3 over 11. Also I write 7 over 1 times 11 over 3. Now I have 7 times 11 over 1 times 3 equals 77 over 3 now look what I have I have a parenthesis when I have parenthesis I should uh, do the parenthesis first then I complete the equation let's see I have 2 over 9 plus 4 over 9 into the parenthesis divided by 5 over 18 so I'm going to start with the parenthesis 2 plus 4 uh, remember when I have addition I add the numerators and I should have the same denominator so here I have 9 9 so the denominator stays 9 and I'm going to add the numerators only so the answer will be 6 over 9 6 over 9 divided well, I'm going instead of divide I'm going to write times and instead of 5 over 18, I'm going to write 18 over 5. So now, 
I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So now I decompose the numbers. 6, I can write instead of 6, 3 times 2 instead of 18. 3 times 3 times 2 instead of 9. 3 times 3. Now I can see if I can simplify. I can simplify here by 3 and by 3 also. Now I can write the answer. 2 times 3 times 2 equals 12. And uh, in the denominator I have 5. So 12 over 5 is the answer. Now I have 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7 divided by 30 over 49. Let's see. I'm going to start with the parentheses. So 5 minus 2 is a 3. So the answer is a 3 over 7. Instead of div divide, I'm going to write times 49 over 30. I multiply the numerators and the denominators together. Instead of 49, I can write 7 times 7. And instead of 30, I can write 3 times 5 times 2. So now I can see if I can simplify. I can simplify by 3 and by 7. So the answer will be 7 over 10. Now page 90. Number 1. Work out and simplify whenever possible. Let's see. Here I have 5 over 8 times 7 over 10. I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So 5 times 7 over 8 times 10. I can write instead of 8, 2 times 2 times 2. And instead of 10, 2 times 5. Now I can simplify by 5. And I complete 7 over 16 is the answer. Now I have 2 over 3 times 9 over 10. I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. I'm going to decompose 9 into 3 times 3 and 10 into 2 times 5. So I can simplify by 3, by 2 and by 3. The answer will be 3 over 5. Now I have 3 over 5 times 2 over 15. Multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. I can decompose 15 into 3 times 5. Now I can simplify by 3. The answer will be 2 over 25. Now I have 15 times 9 over 20. So 15 times 9 over 1 times 20. Because 15 I can write it 15 over 1. Now I can decompose 15 and 9 and 20. 15 is 3 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. And 20 is 2 times 5 times 2. Now I can simplify by 5. And I write the answer 27 over 4. Now I have... 3 over 7 times 7 over 3. I multiply the numerators and the denominators. I cannot decompose any number, so I can directly simplify. I can simplify by 3 and by 7. The answer will be 1. Now I have 3 over 5 times 35 over 21. I multiply the numerators and the denominators together. 35 can be written as 5 times 7 and 21, 7 times 3. I can simplify by 3. I can simplify by 5 and I can simplify by 7. So the answer is 1. Now, what is the inverse of each of the following fractions? I know that the inverse is the same fraction, but the, the numerator should be in the denominator and the denominator should be in the numerator. So it's, uh, let's see, for example, if I have 2 over 3, the inverse is 3 over 2. 9 over 7 is 7 over 9. 1 over 5 is 5 over 1. 15, 17 over 2. Inverse of 2 over 17, 217 over 65 is 65 over 217. Here I have 1041 over 500, 
547 so I write 547 over 1041 now work out and simplify whenever possible here I have 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 5 I know that I write the first fraction as it is I write instead of divide times 4 over 5 becomes 5 over 4 multiply the numerators and the denominators I can write instead of 4 2 times 2 now I can simplify by 2 the answer will be 5 over 6 7 over 9 divided by 5 over 3 also I write the first fraction as it is I write times, I write the inverse of the second fraction, I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, I can decompose 9 into 3 times the 3, now I can simplify by 3, the answer is 7 over 15. 12 over 17 divided by 8, I can write 8 over 1, 12 over 17 times 1 over 8. I can decompose 12 into 2 times 2 times 3, 8 into 2, 2 times 2 times 2. I can simplify by 2 and by 2 here and here. So the answer is 3 over 34. Now I have 9 divided by 3 over 8. 9 is written 9 over 1, 9 over 1 times 8 over 3. I decompose 9 and 8. I can simplify by 3. The answer is 24 over 1. Now I have 12 over 13 divided by 13 over 12. So 12 over 13, I write it as it is, times 12 over 13. The answer is 144 over 169. Now I have 5 over 9 divided by 5 over 9. I write 5 over 9 times 9 over 5. I multiply the numerators and the denominator. I can simplify by 5, simplify by 9. The answer is 1. Number 5. Perform and simplify whenever possible. Here I have 7 over 15 plus 3 over 15 times 9 over 20. I'm going to start with the parentheses. 7 plus 3 is 10 over 15 times 9 over 20. I multiply. I decompose 10, 9, 15, and 20. 10 is 5 times 2, 3 times 3, 5 times 3, and 5 times 2 times 2. I can simplify by 5. Simplify by 2, simplify by 3, the answer is 3 over 10. Now I have 7 over 23 divided by 12 over 23 minus 5 over 23. What should I do? I start with the parentheses. So I write 7 over 23 divided by 7 over 23 because 12 minus 5 is 7. So 7 over 23 times 23 over 7 is 1. I can simplify by 7 and by 23. Now 3 plus 2 is 5 over 7 divided by 15 over 14. So 5 over 7 times 14 over 15 equals 5 times 14 over 7 over times 15 I can decompose 14 and 15 I can simplify by 5 and by 7 2 over 3 is the answer now I have 3 over 5 minus 9 over 15 divided by 3 over 7 look I cannot uh, directly subtract these two numbers because I don't have the same denominator what should I do I'm going to simplify by 3 this fraction. So I have 3 over 5 minus 3 over 5 divided by 3 over 7. Now I have 3 minus 3 is 0 over 5 divided by 3 over 7 equals 0 because I have here 0. So 0 over 5 times 
7 over 3 equals 0 over 15 equals 0. Thank you for your listening.